I'm not sure she's ready for her first sleepover. Maybe I should cancel my bachelor party. No, then I'll feel guilty about having my bachelorette party. And I won't be able to enjoy watching a very muscular half-man, half-tripod gyrate in my no-fly zone. Well, there's not going to be any of that happening at my party. We're just going to be hanging out, playing Mad Libs, see what it's like to play beer pong sober. Never done that. And then after a while, if we're still going strong, maybe we'll check out Jay Leno's take on the day's events. Oh, come on. Don't make me do this alone. When we compare notes, we should both feel shameful. Ah, I mean, the last time I went wild, I knocked up a serial killer. In fact, every time I've gotten wild, I've made bad decisions. In high school, I became a goth freak, and I pierced my wang doodle. That explains the whistling noise when we were getting frisky the other night. You know, I saw somebody put on the tea kettle. Nope. I've got a tiny whistling hole in my wang doodle. What's that? Uh, nothing. Just some boring girl stuff I bought for the bachelorette party. So boring you had to hide it in the vegetable crisper? Okay, fine. It's a bag of penises. Whose are they and why do they have to be kept crisp? I went to the novelty store to pick up some things for tonight and I couldn't stop myself. They had penis hats, glasses, socks. But not all of it was dirty stuff. They also had these salt and pepper shakers that were shaped like little mushrooms. No, wait. I just realized something. Ooh, I see I got some vagina-shaped pasta. No, those are just shells. I stopped by Howdy's. Man, it's not fair. You're gonna have a crazy night with the girls. For my first bachelor party, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but I've heard the words mocktails and jigsaw puzzles, so I don't have a good feeling. But you should be proud that your son isn't a pervert. I mean, we might have made some mistakes here and there, but we were obviously classy parents who made a good example. Ooh, my boner scones are ready. Okay, that's the last word. So the story is, I was bored in my bored hat and went to my boring room where I saw a board that was eating my giant this sucks. I don't think that even makes sense. Oh, hey Tyler. Hey, I think you got the wrong house. We didn't order any pizzas tonight. I'm not here on pizza business. I'm a videographer. That's why I brought my assistants. My son and his friend who was unfortunate enough to be sleeping over tonight. The pizzas are our dinner. Since the gentleman who hired us refused to provide food. It's a job, man, not a buffet. Frank, this doesn't need to be recorded. You could say that about every single Matthew McConaughey movie ever made. But that didn't stop Hollywood, and it won't stop us. You're all going down. Although I guess that is kind of the point of the game. Bitches, you don't stand a chance. I have low self-esteem and I'm hungry. I haven't paid a speeding ticket since 1962. You're about to see why. Okay, on the count of three. One, two... Stripper time! Did somebody order a pizza? Sabrina, we didn't order a... A stripper. That's a real pizza guy. Please don't judge. I get free pizza and I sit in the car all night. Go oh, up. I found the corner piece. This is a bachelor party. I want to go in the bathroom and find a tiger. I want to get punched in the face by Mike Tyson. I want to wake up on the roof of a Las Vegas hotel. Like that movie, The Hangover. Didn't see it. This is a low key night. We're not going to have that kind of party. You can turn the cameras off. Nothing crazy is going to happen. Are you open? Anyone there? Are you open? Hello? It's an emergency. I can't eat my oatmeal without raisins. <laughs> what the hell happened? Sup? was wild. I'm not sure who remembers what, but don't worry. Tyler and the kids captured the whole thing. They're editing it as we speak. Sup, drunk white people? 
You can turn the cameras off. Nothing crazy is gonna happen. It's go time. Jimmy, 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 what a tarnation. The hardest party in fraternity Natesville Vocational School has to offer. I invited them to help give you the best night of your life. Frack guys, cakes of beer, and a free slice of pizza from your generous young man. Oh, it's chips, but it's still gonna be a great night. Frank, I said I didn't want a big party. I heard your words, but as your BFF, best friend Frank, I also heard your thoughts. Frank, stop it! Stop it! Hey, yo, it's time to get the party started. It don't take much for me to Mardi Gras it. And I fly regardless. Barney Hughes, requesting permission to re-pledge. Uh, re-pledge? Well, well, 22 years ago, I pledged your fraternity when I was at Natesville State. I made it all the way to when I had to swallow the goldfish. But I chewed. I chewed. Gross, dude. Animal cruelty isn't cool. But if you want the honor of calling yourself an Odell, just run full speed into that tree. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? We can't watch porn back here, right? Neighbors can see it. Then I'll get ideas and come over with wine coolers. Remind me to tell you that story. It's not porn. Uh, Look, it's no secret your fiance and I don't get along. So I just want to make sure you have a clear picture of the woman you're going to call your wife. Oh! Deal breaker! <laughs> you think that's disgusting? Check out what she's gonna look like in 30 years. For lack of a stronger vocabulary, she looks like human diarrhea. What can I say, Frank? I'm in love. All right, looks like he still wants to do it. On to phase two. I was hoping you'd change your mind about this stupid marriage if we caught Sabrina cheating on you. But unfortunately, her party was pretty lame. Why does your stripper look like Brian, the chubby kid I went to high school with? <laughs> hey, Jimmy Chance. Long time. <laughs> Let's stare him, Jimmy. We're making this awkward. Oh, oh Kirk's dead. Oh. Well, where are we going to get beer this time of night? I have keys to a grocery store. Yeah! <laughs> Job to do. Since none of my plans to stop this wedding were working, I had to go to my last resort. Check this out. My sister's old wedding dress. We should have a fake wedding. It'll be hilarious. To the happy couple! Jimmy, to be your lawfully wedded partner. I do. <laughs> and Jimmy, do you take Frank to be your lawfully wedded partner? I do. <laughs> I always imagined this would happen in Vegas in a little wedding chapel while we're being chased by this little Asian guy. You'd be like in The Hangover? Has everyone seen this movie except me? I now pronounce you husbands for life. <laughs> In case you're wondering if it's legal, 
Here's our marriage license. Hey, Jimmy, the egg delivery guy's here, and I can't find Barney. Will you sign for him? Yeah. We're gonna need a witness to prove Jimmy signed for the eggs. Yeah. So, sorry, Sabrina. You can't marry Jimmy anymore, because he's already taken. This is uncomfortable. You listen to me. Oh my god. I forgot you have this whole weird town and all those creepy dolls. They're not dolls, they're action figures. You better fix this, Frank, because you are not messing up my wedding. I'm sorry, but if I let you guys get married, it'll mess up the plans I made for Jimmy and I. I mapped out a whole future for us. Look. First, I thought we could learn how to surf and show off our ripped bods to the chicks at the beach. Then, with your artistic talent and my love of frigid temperatures, I thought we could become professional ice sculptors. Then in the off season, figured we could go to Spain and run with the bulls. Just because Jimmy and I are getting married doesn't mean you guys can't do all that cool stuff together. Seriously? Awesome! I've got a lot of other ideas, too. I'll be right back. What are you doing? I don't want to go surfing with Frank. I'm afraid of sharks and jellyfish and sea lions. I don't think sea lions are what you think they are. They're the kings of the ocean, right? No, not really. Look, we are dealing with a mental patient here. We just have to tell him exactly what he wants to hear, and then he'll give you the divorce, and then we can go get married. We are going to have so much fun. How familiar are you with a game I just invented called Unicycle Lacrosse? Listen, I'm at a client's house. I can't discuss this right now. Well, I don't think you should wear a bow tie to the meeting. Sorry about that. Trouble with another client. Sorry I'm late. Just having trouble with my lawyer. Wait, you're representing him too? Uh, I'm afraid that's attorney-client privilege. But since you're also my client, I think I can say yes. An unusual tactic. I want to see where this goes. But be warned, counselor, you're on a short leash. On order. Okay, before my client signs these divorce papers, he's requested that you sign a post-nuptial agreement, which my client has full right to refuse to sign. You'll sign, or we'll see you in court. I, Jimmy Chance, promise to build birdhouses with Frank Marola, go on a hot air balloon ride, do monthly mole check, if I should fail to fulfill these duties, I hereby relinquish the rights to my ban and custody of my daughter, what's her name, who will then be raised by Frank and immediately renamed She Frank. <laughs> I'm not signing it. Well, why not? It's just all the things you promised we'd do together. Because I don't want to do any of that stuff, Frank. I just want to marry the girl I love. And if you were a real friend, you'd understand that. Great point, Jimmy. Frank, how could you let him say that to you? I knew this was a mistake. Never should have agreed to this stupid meeting. This is far from over. I think we're in pretty good shape. This is crazy, right? I've got to be able to get a divorce without him. You get him to sign it, and it'll be quick and easy. But if not, and his lawyer gets wind of this, which he just did, then they can really drag this out, which I fully intend to do. What if someone cuts Frank's brake lines and he died in a fiery car crash? I'm just spitballing here. If anybody's got a better idea how to kill Frank and get away with it, the floor is yours. Wait a minute. If he wants to be married to Jimmy, maybe we should see if he really wants to be married to Jimmy. That's a great idea. Jimmy should pressure him for sex constantly. He'll enjoy it for the first couple of months, but eventually it'll just turn into a chore. Now, I'm not saying they should conjugate the marriage, Bert. I just think Frank should see what it's really like spending all his time with Jimmy. Wally Phipps. Oh. You were brilliant. And that bow tie did look great. <laughs> oh, those chances don't have a chance of winning. Yeah. I don't have a fancy pun for Frank, but we're gonna destroy him. Oh, wait. I'm speaking to you frankly. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, 
Frank thinks spending all his time with Jimmy would be great, but what he doesn't know is what a pain in the ass you are. Uh, what are you talking about? You've got some annoying habits. Like when you sing in the shower. I've been working on the rail all the bleeding long day. I've been working on the rail just to pass the time. <laughs> And when you're irritated, you do a play-by-play -play of your every move. Oh, great. You ate the last of the cookies. Now I've got to pick up the plate, walk back to the kitchen, put the plate in the sink, pick up the broken pieces. Ah, got cut my finger. Now I've got to look for a Band-Aid. And of course, there are none in the drawer, but I found some cookies. Walking back into the living room. And I'm sitting back down, only to see you drank the last of the milk. Getting up again. It drives me crazy when you only drink half of every soda. Jimmy! Without the bubbles, my tongue gets the flavor, but my nose doesn't get the tickle. Puts my whole face out of whack. I mean, these are all just bad habits. I mean, look, somebody could have just said something. That's annoying, too, how you always make everything our fault. Totally. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever you do. All right. Fine. I'm annoying. I'll just go and get Frank to divorce me by being myself. All right, I'm headed to the door. I'm grabbing my jacket, uh, looking for my shoes. I'm looking. The first thing I had to do was go to Frank's and make him believe I was really moving in. Jimmy? Okay, fine. You know what? It's over. Whoa. What happened there? What can I say, Frank? Bitches. Does your offer still stand to live here? Are you kidding? Our monogram towels got here this morning. Of course it still stands. Make yourself at home, hubby. First, I tried annoying him in the bathroom. With Dinah, someone in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone that old banjo. Fee fi filly eye. Fee fi filly eye. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Fee fi filly eye. Strumming on the old banjo. Then I tried annoying him in the kitchen. Awesome. I always said the problem with soda is that it's too bubbly and there's too much of it in each can. Some things I didn't even get a chance to try. What are you doing in there? I'm looking for a glass. What about now? Rinsing the glass out. And now? Still rinsing. Gotta be a couple minutes. You want some company? It turns out Frank was so happy to have someone in his life, he didn't care what I did. And that actually made being married to him kind of fun. Jimmy. It's been three days. What's a hold up? Just leave me alone. Right, I'm, I'm working on it. Work faster. We got sick of explaining where you were, so we told Hope you were mad at her. And the longer this goes on, the worse that decision looks. Maybe it's time to tell Frank to take a drive. You know, down a long road by a steep cliff. What? Well, I'm just kidding. But I didn't cut his brake lines. Jimmy, your sardines are ready. I'll be right there. Busting out the big guns, huh? I forgot how you like to eat those stinky sardines. He's gonna hate that. Yeah, he does hate it, but you know what? He doesn't just secretly judge me for my annoying habits like the rest of you. He loves me for who I am. There's no way he loves you, Jimmy. You're gonna wind up living in a cage in the basement. I feel it. Frank is a wonderful person. He doesn't yell at me for leaving my towel on the floor or complain that I'm a horrible singer. No, he harmonizes and brings me on key. And if that isn't a metaphor, I don't know what is. I'm serious. I don't know what a metaphor is. Frank wouldn't judge me for that. Jimmy, I just wanted to say that these last few days have been better than I could have ever imagined. I've never really had a relationship before, and every moment with you has been a revelation. I know exactly how you feel. I've never felt so accepted for who I am. Me neither. Mm. But here's the thing. I think I might rather try it with a girl. A girl? Yeah. You know, for the sex part. So you're breaking up with me? Just like that? But there's so much stuff that I wanted us to do together. Well, we can still be friends, Jimmy. It's not like we'll never see each other. We'll always have howdies. Let me drive you home. Whoa, Frank, no, um, let's walk. I mean, it's beautiful out. Sabrina cut my brakes, didn't she? Yeah, probably. It's a damn fine woman you got there, Jimmy. Damn fine. So, the next day, Frank and I called Wally and got a divorce. But not before I added a post nup to make sure we'd always stay friends. I now pronounce you ex-husband and ex-wife.
You may now kiss your fiance. When I finally find the one, I hope you'll at least consider swapping. Adios, amigos.